Oh, okay. Uh. Way back. Sorry about that. How's that look on my end? Better. Yeah. Yeah, no, no more fever. The I just... So I couldn't request that the router be reset because the person who would reset it is currently in a call. However, I can also just plug and unplug myself from the router. Which works. Eh, it kind of works. Uh, actually, if you're in chat, can you, like tell people to refresh the page because I know that's an issue with Twitch. Uh, there we are. Yeah, that's much better. I'll just probably do that next time. It's a big issue. Yeah, I remember this part. Oh. Have you seen this shit? No, actually, I have not touched uh, Extraction Point. Look at his face. Oh. Look at him. Oh, no. This entire Look expansion just reeks of Yo. Alma having a nightmare. Yeah! Yeah! Uh, I'm almost certain that this is supposed to be Jacob's Ladder. Oh. That makes sense, yeah. I'm deathly certain. Yeah. There we go. This is really impressive. blood on the floor anymore. He's alive. I just picked up a signal. It wasn't real this entire time. A chopper is standing by. His DLC is getting fucking weird. Yeah. I just... I'm really happy that this DLC exists, even if it's non-canon. And I know I keep reiterating that, but I don't want someone to be like, well, this happens in Extraction Point. Because they watched my LP and weren't listening. To be fair. I wish it was canon. Uh, I wish it was canon, and so... And, like, even if Perseus' mandate was bad, I still ask questions. I'm like, wait, what the fuck is that? You know? Yeah. Yeah, none of this is big scary. I do want this, though. Hold on, is that...? Yeah, you can hear the pills rattling inside the bottle. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm really happy with that. You should watch Jacob's Ladder. Should. Do you want to put it on the list? Don't put it on the list. I'll put it at the fucking top. Okay. It's mandatory. You don't have to get violent about it. I'll put it at the fucking top. I'll eat you. 
do it, pussy. You won't. <laughs> what? The Life Flight Elevator is operational once again. SFODD coordinator has made contact and directed you to the extraction point on the hospital roof. No other surviving fear or SFODD operatives have been found. Proceed with extreme caution. Mission. Head to the extraction point on the roof and escape. Open for Here's that black the end. You should know. I've not that seen the now. actual end of Extraction Point. You've probably seen like Indy's video. I don't think he did the ending of it. I actually, I think he did the DLCs. He did like a whole micro episode. Yeah, I know he did the DLCs. I just don't remember the actual ending if he covered it. Humans in Vampire the Masquerade be like, yeah, I'm gonna block your entire passage with my tiny body. With my tiny, fragile human body. Casting sleep on a woman just so I can run past her. Yeah! This whole game just reeks of dumb, stupid golf. Vampire? But I love it. Yeah. Yeah. It's also, like, insanely horny. Oh, it is. It... But it's Vampire the Masquerade, so... Of course it's horny. It's kinda gotta be. It's too bad that this game does not let the, the fledgling fuck. Uh, I think it was a plan at one point. I think you can actually, like, fuck Jeanette. Maybe? Like, that sounds like something you would be able to do. At the same time, it might just be a business relationship. Yeah, but wouldn't you fuck I her? would. Exactly. Well, so don't stick your dick in crazy. But if you do, don't stick around. That's the life yeah. advice. Five. Well, because everyone's like, don't stick your dick in crazy, which is partially true. Yeah. But if you have to, this is not good advice. This is not good advice. Not good advice, but you're giving it anyway. This is good advice for bad people. This is good advice for bad decisions. Yeah, let's actually put it that way. You're not, you're not a bad person for hooking up. But maybe, just maybe, uh, look into who you're hooking up with. Yeah. Look for signs. Did, did the hooker just break? Oh yeah, the hooker just broke. Legitimate things you could say in a Vampire the Masquerade game. Yep. say confidently that there is one non-horny vampire game. What is it? Legacy of Kane. Yeah. Kane is just angry the whole time. Yeah. Oh no. They tried to bury their sins, but instead planted the seeds of their doom. Well, but she would not be forgotten. We will make them remember. They will die. <laughs> That looks really good for collection of pictures. Does. Well, like, cause th that's obviously a group of JPEGs. 
What even was the ending there? I've seen dreams five Like what happened to Point Man? Uh he's look the expansion ends here. Okay. Uh the answer is you went and did the plot, and now you've seen what the world looks like. It would have, in theory, picked up to a Fear 2 after Perseus Mandate. Oh. This is assuming that there was gonna be a Fear 2 in the Vivendi timeline. There would have been. What? Oh, there would have been. Which, I'm gonna be real with you, I'd have preferred. I agree. Not to say Fear 2 is bad. In fact, while I play Fear 2, I will likely actually compliment things it does right. I'm so shaky on actually liking Fear 2, honestly. I don't have to like everything about something to like it. No, it's fair. It's more that just Fear 2 puts a bad taste in my mouth and I can enjoy it genuinely. Yeah. to say, but I know there's, like, an ending stinger, so I can't just say, and eh, that's Fierce fucking 1.5. Extraction point. I'm actually kind of surprised that Streamlabs doesn't have any feature that tells me what game I'm actually playing. Yeah. Like, I look over to Streamlabs and go... at any point that the multiplayer is actually being kept alive with fan servers? I think so, yes. Oh. Well, there's that fun fact. Oh! Fun fact I didn't get to talk about. So you know how Fettel has a really cool outfit? Yeah. Did you know that the only reason he has that outfit is because there was going to be a second antagonist somewhere along the plot and they didn't know what to do with him? I, I didn't know that. Yeah, so there's one model of him still existing. Uh, you can go on the Fear Wiki and actually see all the info that exists on him. Oh. And he has Fettel's outfit, and he's bald. Oh. Like, Fettel was always supposed to exist, but there was supposed to be a secondary antagonist. Now that was something I never knew. Uh, there was also going to be an actual Armacam guy that wasn't, uh, that wasn't Alma's dad. I can't remember his name. Ballin Raid, very different from Harlan Raid. Harlan Raid, thank you. But Ballin Raid. Uh, nah, there was going to be a character that was more of an administrative Armacam guy. Uh, he would often be chewing out, um, ma napes? Yeah. Mapes? Mapes. Uh, in fact, if you look very carefully when you're in the actual facility and you listen, and you look at, like, the UI to see who's talking, you'll actually see dude's name pop up. 
as like a little oopsie. Not supposed to be there. Uh, there were supposed to be turrets in the street at some point. I, I don't like that idea. Well, for one of the outside areas. So now is where I do have to ask. This was a short enough stream. Would you want to switch over to something else? Sure. I can pull That's out. An issue with it. I can pull darkest dungeon out of my ass. Yeah. I do know that our active chat member really likes the darkest dungeon. Does he now? Yeah. Because I don't want to go immediately into, um... I don't want to immediately go into Perseus Mandate. I'll feel like that. Yeah. Actually, hey, if I click a button... If I click, like, any buttons... No, no, these, up. Uh, that's fair. That's fair. I'm also just happy to be here. Hit me that this year I should probably do a Thanksgiving and or um, Christmas stream because a lot of people are going to be just at home. Yeah. I don't know what I'd do for Christmas. Like I die joke hard, man. I jokingly said Die Hard Trilogy. I do not actually what if want they to do Die Hard you Trilogy. To do it? Uh, I never promised anything. That's but. your answer. <laughs> also, even if I do promise something for a stream, I can totally just say, I don't want to do that anymore. Or, that would be not a good idea. Like, there are things I want to do on stream. There are games I want to play on stream. Uh, I don't know how safe they are to stream. Yeah. Mafia 3, for instance. And it's not for the reason you think. I wonder why it is, then. Uh, because it has a lot of copyrighted music that I don't know how to turn off. Yeah. But, like, most people... I do people... actually like that Cyberpunk has a streamer mode to protect oh, yeah. the streamers. Oh yeah, and people like are like... some irony, that it's a cyberpunk game and it yeah. has to do that, well, but the like, irony is not on cyberpunk. Th th there were people that were like, ho ho, that's the least cyberpunk thing ever. But like... It's actually the most because it's protecting the people that promote the game. Yeah, like... If I played CP2077 on stream... You would have to turn on stream mode. I would have to turn on streamer mode. But at the same time, it's like, what? What am I missing out on that Grimes is putting in the game? Yeah. Uh, there, there are actually really good acts in that game, but, like, Grimes was the first that came to mind. It's, it's weird. I don't know what I'd do if I've had Cyberpunk 2077. A bit of in it. Uh, well, Which there... has me excited. Well, it's like, there, there's probably a list. Probably a list, but from what I've heard and what I've been sent with a bit of... I've heard some death walk, but it was more of a heavy metal kind of deal. Which uh... is what I'm concerned about, because cyberpunk wouldn't be the same if it didn't concentrate on the facets of punk that actually exist within cyberpunk and all. Sure. Deathwalk being one of them. Yeah, what's the artist list here? Oh, don't give me a fucking and more pitchfork. Uh, Run the Jewels is in there. 
Grimes is in there, Rat Boy's in there, Sophie and Shy Girl, The Armed, Health, which I'm excited for. Uh, let's eat Grandma's Rosa Walton. Now, what I really like about them actually putting in, like, real people music is that they will actually have those people in the game, too, as, like, in-lore yeah. musicians. Yeah. Like, Grimes apparently plays a character. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, that's Extraction Point. Uh, if you stuck around this long especially in between me doing the stream. Thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I'm sorry that I had to disconnect, but y'all saw what was going on. Oh, no. Why was I... Why was I suddenly yellow? That was a worry. Anyways. Um... If you enjoyed that, thanks a lot. Below, wherever you're watching this, whether it be live or either of the archives, there are links such as the Streamlabs donation link and the community Discord. Uh, other than that, I don't think I have anything else. Don't let me keep you. Have a good rest of your night. Thank you. And if you're watching this live, I'll have Darkest Dungeon ready in a couple minutes. Sweet. So stay tuned. Thank you.